In 2017, Shark launched a drone over a beagle breeding facility in Cumberland, Virginia. At the time, the company was owned by Covance Research Products and their parent company, LabCorp. Our drone documented the horrid conditions the beagles being raised there are forced to endure. This included footage of overcrowded cages, dogs attacking each other, cages littered with feces, and dogs suffering from stereotypic behavior brought on by stress. On July 23, 2019, ABC 8 News covered Shark's footage of the hundreds of dogs trapped at Covance. Our video went viral, and it caught the attention of the governor of Virginia, as well as some legislators. In 2020, Shark returned twice to Covance, now acquired by Invigo, to check the status of the thousands of dogs housed there. We found the conditions had gotten even worse. In February 2022, hundreds of beagles were finally rescued from the facility. In April 2022, Virginia's governor signed a bill that clarifies that dogs and cats bred and sold for experimental purposes are protected by Virginia's cruelty to animal laws. On May 20th, 2022, another 145 beagles were removed from Invigo. Invigo's disregard for the law and the welfare of the beagles in its care has resulted in the animal's needless suffering and in some cases death. Chris Cavanaugh, U.S. Attorney for the Western District of Virginia, wrote in a civil complaint against the company filed Thursday. Shark's footage verifies the information listed in the complaint. According to the federal complaint, Invigo is failing to meet the minimum standards for handling and housing the beagles, resulting in the unnecessary suffering and at times death of beagles at the Cumberland facility. Records from January 2021 to July 2021 show that 48 beagles had fight wounds. Two female beagles were found dead from fight wounds, while another female beagle was found dead after being killed by a cage mate. On May 21, 2022, a federal judge issued a temporary restraining order against Invigo, barring them from breeding, selling, or otherwise dealing in beagles at the Cumberland facility. The judge noted that there was sufficient evidence that Invigo is engaged in serious and ongoing violations of the Animal Welfare Act. Shark's boots-on-the-ground activism led to this monumental move to protect and save these beagles. Not many would know this, though, because recent press on the issue has omitted Shark's role in the rescue of these dogs. PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, is the only animal protection organization being recognized. PETA started conducting their own investigation of Invigo in 2021, several years after Shark first arrived on the scene. Not that PETA wasn't aware of the issue. Invigo's Cumberland facility is a mere two-and-a-half-hour drive away from PETA's Virginia headquarters. It's literally in their backyard. In May of 2020, Shark was in communication with PETA regarding their desire to use our footage in a campaign. Shark would have gladly let them use our footage in exchange for the proper credit for our work. PETA wasn't willing to do this. Instead, they recycled old footage for the launch of their campaign. If PETA would have been willing to work with us in a united effort, more animals would have been rescued sooner. PETA's unwillingness to work with other organizations ended up killing beagles in the end, a sacrifice they made in order to fundraise off of the press they are receiving right now. Despite PETA's efforts to destroy smaller organizations, Shark is glad our years of work has led to life-saving legislation and the rescue of hundreds of beagles. However, the restraining order against Invigo's Cumberland facility is only temporary. It needs to be shut down permanently. Invigo also has several other locations across the U.S., and there are still thousands of beagles, primates, rabbits, and other animals suffering in these facilities. There are well-established procedures to test new drugs and products that don't require torturing and killing animals. These procedures are more accurate and safer for humans. 
please reach out to your legislators and request that non-animal testing procedures replace barbaric and archaic animal testing in your state. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel to see more of our investigations and learn what you can do to help shark help animals. If you'd like to support Shark directly and gain access to exclusive content, please consider sponsoring us on Patreon.